Okay, time for some top green news of the day from Planet Save. First off is a stunner, another stunner on the Heartland in Institute. It's been found through an uh, investigative study that the Heartland Institute uh, funded a guest uh, teacher at a Canad top Canadian university uh, to teach climate science and Heartland Institute is known for its uh, anti-climate science uh, efforts and uh, efforts to counter the scientific consensus on global warming. Uh, this this uh, teacher was found to have made at least 140 false, biased, and misleading claims about climate science in his time at the uh, Ottawa University, uh, an expert audit has found. Ernst & Young released their latest Renewable Energy Investment Attractiveness Index. Uh, China is still number one, USA is number two, and Germany is number three, but there's uh, a lot of there are a lot of changes going on in all of those all of those places and the Middle East and North Africa are sort of a rising star. GE and JP Morgan together invested 225 million dollars in a 600 662.5 megawatt wind farm in West Texas. That's a huge wind farm. Meanwhile, wind energy output in Spain has hit a record high. In February, it provided the country with 21.7% of its electricity needs. A new study by former Microsoft executive Nathan Murfold, Murfold, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, and climate scientist Ken Caldera have found that what we need to avert really tremendous uh, global warming catastrophe is a completely clean energy transition that doesn't include natural gas. Uh, just the long-term effects are just too tremendous to, to go that route. A new startup out of California is claiming some pretty astounding um, facts about its EV batteries developing, electric car batteries developing. It's uh, potentially a threefold increase in battery density that could cut electric vehicle batteries in half. That's that would be huge for reducing the cost of electric vehicles, which are already competitive. In the long term, they're cheaper than most gas cars, and or it could just extend the range of them considerably. But given that that's not highly needed, it would probably help a ton in reducing costs. London has just started rolling out uh, some super efficient red buses. It's uh, iconic red buses. It's a new bus is t two times more fuel efficient, uh, but it's also complicated because the city is rolling out fewer of these than they could of more traditional hybrids. New revelations out of Japan show that if the plant manager at Fu Fukushima had listened to Japan's u utility president, TEPCO president, that the they would have had to they would have evacuated the plant, and that would have ended up causing Tokyo to probably have to evacuate. Uh, in the end, the plant manager decided to ignore his boss's uh, decision on the matter, and they eventually didn't. They eventually got everything under control after months, and didn't have to evacuate Tokyo. The world's oldest nuclear power plant, uh, meanwhile, shut down in the UK yesterday. It was 44, or today, it was 44 years old. Um, but there is a, a future nuclear power plant planned for the nearby that would include four cooling towers. There's a visualization right there um, of what it would look like, and that doesn't have the nearby residents very happy. The Guardian had an interesting piece today on. Mexico's floating gardens being threatened by urbanization. Not not great news. And on sister site Red, Green, and Blue, Jeremy Bloom discusses uh, Mitt's mm, sort of meltdown in Michigan. He had a hard time just barely winning his, um, his own home state, which causes concerns for his campaign team.